Hi everybody, welcome to our webinar on building massive residual revenue. Uh, you know, I was at a, uh, a leadership conference last weekend, and I think this is just a, a great place to start. Um, we, you know, oh, by the way, we work with or have worked with um, top brands all across, inter actually internationally. Um, we work with, you know, people like the U.S. National Guard currently, Avon, um, all kinds of really, really big companies. Some of those we work with through our distribution, through our distributorship. Some of them we work with as direct clients. Um, we have been in the space over six years and do all kinds of different kinds of campaigns and different kinds of communication. We have an application that does everything from SMS and mobile coupons, mobile websites, apps, native application development, um, email uh, communication. We allow people to be able to manage clients uh, and resell our platform, a fully white labeled service that you can license from us and then resell. And we also, uh, on top of all that, we, uh, um, you know, we have the ability for our resellers to actually set up other distributors or other resellers in uh, circumstances where that would apply. Um, so we've got a very expansive platform a lot that you can do with it. And, you know, uh, and, and I don't believe there's any question that if you were going to select a company to white label from, um, that with us having the absolute best wholesale pricing, we're connected on five different aggregators, have the absolute best and lowest wholesale SMS pricing of anybody, and we'll, and we'll match or beat anybody else's prices so if they publish something lower than us. But we also have the biggest application and more features to sell. We also have the single best philosophy of sales of anybody else out there. So in terms of a partner that's going to help you grow your business, we're the best one for that. So uh, ancillary services to be able to sell. Um, any business out there today, a, a basic core business principle is taking clients that you already sell a service to and then offering them additional upsells and additional uh, ancillary services to them and a large percentage of them will buy those additional services. We provide more of those services than anybody else in the space. Meaning, you know, you go out and you close even 100 clients. 30 of them are going to buy some of the ancillary services that we allow you to be able to sell through us. And what that's going to be is a bottom line of an additional $1,500 a month over anybody else right there. Not to mention your wholesale prices are lower. So when you talk about, you know, the selecting an application service provider, I often equate to the same thing as, you know, uh, opening up a hamburger stand and deciding on which corner you want to put it. You know, you don't select the corner that you're going to put your hamburger stand based on the lease price of the space. You base it on which one is going to have the most traffic, which one is going to get you the most visibility, which one is going to get you uh, the best opportunity to make money. Because at the end of the month is what matters. At the end of 30 days from now, which company are you going to make the most money with? And there's no question you'll make the most money with us, especially when you look at, towards the end of this, everything that we provide you. Uh, I wanted to start with that because it's always right. It's one of our business principles. It's one of our basic sales principles, actually, to teach that when you go out and you do a, a credibility statement to somebody, when you open up a conversation about doing business, that you obviously you got to tell them how, you, how, how it is that you're going to benefit them. And you don't start any conversation by uh, just talking about technology. You start the conversation off by telling them how you're going to help them grow their, their business and help, how you're going to help them grow their revenues. And, uh, you know, you get them excited about uh, the, the, their business principles in the, in the first part. And then you can talk about some of the other stuff. A lot of the problems with the way people sell mobile marketing today is they walk in and they say this stuff that's on the screen right now. And this is all great stuff. And I often will talk about it very early in the conversation. And, but the, and the only reason I'm going to talk about this particular slide today is just the way that we position it, just so you can kind of get, you know, get an understanding of it. It's not just about that 98% of all text messages are open when, when they're sent out. That's a CTIA statistic. It's probably really 100% of people that actually opt into your database when you send a text message out to those databases, they're going to open it. I mean, that's, you know, it's probably 100% of all those users. 98% are going to read it and actually look at it, and it's going to have higher click-through rates and than your email campaigns are. It's going to have higher redemption rates on a percentage basis than your email. And if you run the right kind of campaign, it can be twice the size of your email in a very short amount of time. The, the other thing to think about is, you know, this statistic right here, which is really cool. 
you know, today, especially business stuff, you post business stuff in your, you know, on your business fan page, nobody's seeing it in Facebook. They want you to pay to be able to place it where people will actually ever, ever view that. I see more Facebook ads on, you know, spending money with Facebook so that your local business can actually be found on Facebook than I do have about anything else out there. But most Facebook posts aren't read. Most Twitter uh, uh, tweets aren't, aren't seen by anybody. Most emails aren't opened up. Um, you know, I have rarely, I have never seen, I don't think I've ever seen anybody with an open rate higher of 28% on an email campaign. That's a fourth of the people, but your text messages are going to be open and read, right? And, and we know that more people text message on a daily basis than use social media. And if so, how does it, how does it come down to selling that to an individual business? Well, I could talk sales and business principles all day in terms of how to make somebody excited about it. But the core of it comes down to this, that <clears throat> since more people are using text messaging since the the biggest and best companies in the world have figured out that we've got to start building mobile databases because we want to communicate with those mobile databases as one of our cross-channel marketing uh, communications we have email we have social um, we have um, possibly we have push notifications in our app although nobody allows for push notifications um, but we also have to communicate with mobile and then we use all three of those channels, touch them at different times in different, uh, with different communications. And um, the, the, the businesses that have figured that out are getting a higher return on investment on their uh, mobile campaigns than they are with anything else that they're doing, which is really exciting. So <clears throat> I started off, well, I wanted to start off, I wanted to mention that I went to a conference last, uh, last week. I was in Las Vegas last week. Um, at this conference, it's CEO Space. You could look it up, and it's um, uh, re anybody can join. That's a, a, a CEO or um, senior leadership of any type of company. But people go there and they um, uh, talk about their businesses, and they meet with people, and, and they do business building. and And um, I met with a lot of, of really great people. And what we're looking for is distribution. Um, we've got a great technology and we've got a great product and people are ready to buy it. And now it's just about getting that product out into their hands. And to be real honest with you guys, I met a couple people that it was that, that told me some things that were really interesting. And I thought it was really relevant to what I would be talking with you about today. And that's this. Today, the number of people that are looking for mobile communication mobile websites, an app, um, the ability to send email and mobile messages from the same platform potentially, um, appointment reminders or mobile coupons so they can send out their own groupons. The people that will be looking for any one of those things that I just mentioned is statistically about 60% of businesses in the next two years. We're past the early adopter stage of this. You see it at Old Navy. You hear it on radio, on almost every radio station. They're telling the text in to win something or, or whatever the case may be. You see it at l large QSRs. Um, you see it on, um, you know, Bed Bath & Beyond sends out uh, text messages. Um, you've got, you know, leading, uh, you've got people like the U.S. National Guard, like the work with us. You you've got 60% of businesses that are going to be using some form of the technology that we provide in the next couple of years. If you just went out and got a small percentage of those businesses, even in just your metropolitan area, you could have a successful business. Or if you're already selling a product or service out there today, just going to those same people that you already sell the product and service that you sell today and saying, Hey, we now can give you this. Let me show you a quick example. Just putting that in front of them. Sometime in the next two years, many of those customers that buy from you will also buy this service, thus producing an additional residual revenue stream for you. So going back to my story, I'm talking to this one guy in particular, and this guy has sells his products through like four or five different companies that have salespeople in every major market in North America. In fact, he distributes his product sets through 17,000 direct distribu distributors, individual salespeople in the streets. What do those people sell? Well, some of those people sell yellow pages. Some of those people sell um, 
you know, different types of uh, marketing services. Some of them sell paper products. Um, many of those people sell, they, they sell different kinds of products, but he has that distribution. He can turn around and take any product that he finds, our product, somebody else's product, SEO services, whatever, and if it's the right product and it makes the most sense to him, he can put it in the hands of those 17,000 people and train on it, and they can go out and sell. Any of us can do that exact same thing. We can find distribution for our product, or we can distribute it ourselves and grow a business. Let's keep talking about this right here, the 60% of businesses that are going to be utilizing this technology in the next two years, or even if they already are, might be willing to change for a better platform that provides more services or whatever the case may be. We still know right now that many have a standalone website and standalone mobile website, and we can provide that for them as well. Here's some of the statistics on it, okay? Um, the the uh, the most recent data that I could find showed the number of private sector businesses in some of the major metropolitan areas. Actually, it showed for all like I don't know 500 metropolitan areas. The but just you know some of the bigger ones: half a million businesses in the New York metropolitan area, Los Angeles 300,000, Chicago 200,000, approximately 100,000 businesses. I'm just averaging of all major top 50 cities in the uh, in North America and saying their metropolitan area or their surrounding areas. That's the number that I'm working off of here, okay? And some of those businesses might be one location business. It might be a little salon. It might be a little service place that does, you know, automotive repairs. It might be insurance agency. It could be anything, right? Approximately 100,000 businesses. Now, what if you, right now, I shouldn't even say what if, you can go out and build a business that closes just a half a percent of those businesses in 10 metropolitan areas. Those companies are going to buy anyway. You might as well, might as well be you calling them up and saying, hey, we have this stuff. When you're looking for it, come to us. And then get their email and get their mobile phone number and, and email them information and, and text message them information. And over the next two years, when they're ready to buy it, they come back to you. I consistently have clients that I talked to a year, two, and three years ago that now call me and want to do business. I just told some of our support team yesterday that a company that I uh, called me and set a meeting up with me, and I met with them like a week and a half ago, and they were, they're ready. And I went looking for uh, the presentation that I had done for them about six months ago, and I had found another presentation that I had done for them originally three years ago. I mean... So, you know, I talked to the business a long time ago, a long, long time ago. I didn't even remember talking to them. And now they came back, and they're, and they're ready to go now, and we're going to do business with them. And they've got like, I don't remember how many locations. What was it, like 25 locations or something? So not huge, but, you know, it's, a, it's another good client, right? <clears throat> Just a half a percent in 10 metropolitan areas. What do those numbers look like? 100,000 businesses in 10 metro areas is a million potential clients. You're not going to call 100 potential clients, a million people. But if you build a sales team, if you find some distribution, and I'm going to show you how to do that here in a minute, you can certainly connect with 100, a million people. It happens every single day. You look around at some of the companies that sell different kinds of services, SEO, merchant services. Um, you look at people that sell um, you know, different types of print. The, how, many, how many print companies out there have 100 franchisees in different markets? that are reaching how many different potential clients. All of those people built businesses by finding a product that they were good at or finding someone else's product and reselling it and delivering it, just finding a better distribution model, finding a way to deliver it to people. Just half a percent, one out of every 200 of those million would be 5,000 clients that you could build up. An average one, lo one location client running the right kind of campaign, and we've got clients that have been with us for five or six years now using our services, by the way, about one out of every eight or nine clients that you get uh, is bigger than one location client. About one out of every eight or nine that an average salesperson sells is a five location place or a 20 location place or a 100 location place or a college that's going to do, you know, 50,000 messages a month or something like that. But an average one location account um, will grow by sending more SMS and more emails as their databases grow over time. And the average gross is about $115. If you actually average all your clients, it'll be a higher number than this, but I'm using the low averages. Average net revenue varies depending on how you're actually pricing it, between about 55 and 
of your gross uh, uh, price of your cost of goods sold, of, uh, um, your cost of goods sold will only be about 35 percent to 40 percent, um, which is your hard cost of your account of your messaging. Thus, a net profit after your hard cost um, being around 74 dollars per client on average. And obviously, there's ways to increase this number, or if you needed to be more competitive. You could certainly reduce what your retail cost is for these campaigns, but this is a good competitive retail price once their database is grown. They're sending out, and I'm not going to show you all the numbers, but they're sending out, you know, 5,000, 4,000 text messages a month. You know, um, the, these are competitive prices. 74, 75 on average per client, 5,000 clients is three, almost 400,000, quarter of a million dollars of net profit per month. Now, nobody can manage 5,000 clients alone. But what happens? How is this not a, just a dream? How is it actually a reality? Because it is. Because you don't go out and have 5,000 clients immediately. What you do is you go out and you get 10 clients, and then you get 35 clients, and then you get 50 clients, and you hire a support person because there's enough money in it and enough profit margin to be able to do so. And then you go out and close another 40 or 50, or you find a, a partner that's going to distribute your products. And I'm going to talk about those partnerships in a minute. And then those partners already have 35 salespeople. And those 35 salespeople, you build a database, you run a training with all 35 of those people, and you train them on how to sell your product. And you reach a partnership with that person that every one of those people that sell a product with a $99 setup fee, the, the, their salespeople get to keep that $99 setup fee. And out of the $35 a month starting that they, uh, they're they paying you, that you're dividing out the net profit 50-50 with that, with that partner. And those 35 people go out and close, um, you know, those 35 salespeople that already work for this other guy that you called, you know, they go out and they close three of their existing clients per month into the program, meaning you're adding 100 clients a month. 12 months later, you've already got 1,200 clients that you're supporting through just through his sales, through, his, uh, through, through what he's doing. But you can go out and create other partnerships with other people that can do that exact same thing and sell your product or service through their distributorship, through their distribution. Or maybe you just go out and find 35 salespeople and you 1099 them and you, know, you pay them a good headhunter's fee with a good setup fee and you give them great training. And when they sign up with you to be a distributor, you put them in a text message database yourself and you create three uh, or four text messages a, a week to send out to your sales force and you say to them, you know, you send them a two-minute video and say, you know, not a two-minute video that you got to pay to create. I'm talking about a two-minute video where your wife is standing there pointing your, the iPhone at you and you're recording a two-minute motivational uh, message to them and you grab, you post that to your YouTube channel, you grab the URL, you paste it into a text message and you send it to your 35 salespeople and those 35 salespeople get that message at 8.15 in the morning, and you're telling them to get out there and hustle. Get out there and make some money and start building their residual revenue. And then they go out and close more sales. And all of a sudden, your business is growing. When your net profit is 373000 per month because you've got 5,000 clients, you have a support team. You've got an office. You've got overhead. But this is that, but what is, when people talk about cost of goods sold, and then what their net profit is, and then out of that net profit, they've got all of their other costs of over, and overhead. If you are making 30% of this figure, but you've got a business of that size, what's funny is many people will buy this client base. Let's say that you go out and you work really hard over the course of the next two years on building distribution on building clients, on building a sales force, on finding partners. And you don't do a half a percent, but you do 1% of just 10 metropolitan areas. And you have 10,000 clients or 15,000 or 25,000. People will come in and buy your market share and will buy your company purely on nothing else but your, to have access to those clients and that residual revenue that you're producing and pay you $2 million or $5 million or for that client base. This is building something that you can sell, something that's yours. And the residual revenue that's produced of it, off of it on a monthly basis is better than you can do in network marketing or anything else. Or if you already own a business and you already sell a product or service, 
this is a great additional product set to be able to, you know, go out, create your own pricing plans, whatever you want them to be, and go out and sell them to local businesses, national businesses, international businesses, and we're a partner that can help you help you do that. I talked about finding distribution where, you know, finding the right partnership to be able to grow your business is not just uh, is not just like finding us. I mean, obviously, that's a very important part. You have to find the right partner that has the right technology that can support you, that can, uh, when you've got a, a, a potential, every single person, by the way. Keep this in mind. This is very important. No matter who you would license an application through, and you get a short code and you got a technology application, you're going to go out and sell. Within 15 or 20 opportunities that you open up, you're going to have somebody that asks you some tough questions. You're gonna, they're going to be asking you specific things. Can you do this? Or could you do this potentially in the future? Or could you integrate with this? Or how does the, the API work? Or is this available? And there's things that you won't necessarily know the answers to. Well, you can come right to me. You can email me directly. And I'll jump on a call with you and talk about it. I'll help you put the presentation together if it's a big client. I will talk to that client as, a, as, as Rob Thompson, VP of Business Development for your company. And I'll not only help you close that business, but I'll help answer the tougher questions because I've been in the industry and I can, I can help. And I'll help you close more clients than you would if you were with somebody else. That's a, that's, that's a part of it. You know, the, but that's not really even what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about where is it possible to build 5,000 clients? Look around in your metropolitan area. Drive down some of your Main Street corridors. Look at how many marketing companies that you have just in your market. How many agencies have actually office staff? Three people, 10 people. How many agencies do you have in your uh, area that have, you know, 100 people that are working for them? Not just advertising agencies, but look at people that sell a similar, let's say, uh, uh, software as a service pro product, SaaS product, right? There's email service providers. There's all of these kinds of people. Is there room for you to resell this service, be competitive in the marketplace, and capture a percentage of all of these people that are going to be buying this product? And the answer is yes. Why else is there room for all of these different other types of other kinds of companies? Because when 60% of businesses will be buying this in the next two years, all you have to do is get out there and find those partnerships and partner with them and get them selling your product, which we're giving you this product, which you can turn around and either resell or partner with the print companies. And I'm not just talking about like the Wall Street Journal or USA Today, although those might be possibilities, but I'm talking about anybody that prints anything. Look at anybody in your market that is a printer. Some of them are franchises. Could you call the franchisor, work a partnership with them where all their franchisees can sell your product? SMS marketing, mobile coupons, mobile websites, where they can put QR codes and text message engagements right on all their print pieces, and then they can resell it, and you're making a small percentage of it. But you've got 500 people now selling your product out there, and all of a sudden you're pulling in 1,000 clients a month. Has anybody ever seen one of these? I was talking about this earlier today in a support meeting, and you know, there's I don't know how many companies that sell these things. When they're out there and they're, and they're going in and they're talking to these companies about these things, actually the margin is, doesn't actually come from the RBs or the, you know, the Long John Silvers or the whoever it is, the local business that they're selling to that goes on the back of this. Their profit margin actually comes from the, you know, the sales, the percentage of sales that they make off selling the card. But would some of these people that do things like this, would they be open to having just at the end when they're done and they close the client and they got them – they got their, you know, sun-kissed bakery to, you know, agree to the free donut thing. So at the end of it, you know what they tell sun, sun-kissed bakery? They say, okay, now what's going to happen here is this is a lead gen tool for you, right? You're going to have all of these people come in that have never been in sun-kissed bakery before. Those are potential new customers. And, of course, you hope they love the donut and are going to come back again on their own fruition. But they're, But what if... We just, you had a little tablet sitting here on the, on the register, by the register. And when they typed their, and, the, and you told them as they were checking out with their free donut, you said, hey, if you type your mobile number in here, we'll give you a free dozen donuts next time you come in. 
and they type their mobile number in, and they get a coupon back for a free dozen donuts with the purchase of any other dozen donuts uh, next visit, and it's valid for two weeks. Now you do that with every single customer that walks in the door. And what we do over the course of time is you build up 2,500 people in your database per location that you have. And out of those 2,500 people that you pull into your database, sending them a couple messages a month, you know, reminding them about the new donuts that you just put out there, or, you know, take donuts into the office for the holiday, and those kinds of things. You can generate three additional transactions from those customers uh, on an annual basis. That's 7,500 additional transactions. You know, your average transaction, I've sat there and watched my donut shop because my daughter makes me go in there like three times a week. I mean, those people are buying coffee. They're buying a dozen donuts for the office or a few dozen donuts. I mean, I guarantee their average transaction is $15 or better. That's $100,000 of additional revenue that we brought in the door just by putting this tablet up on the register. You can start it today. It's 19 bucks a month. Now you just produced residual revenue for this, uh, for this, for this, this people. The thing is about these people that distribute these cards, they already have staff. They've already got a profitable business model. What this represents to them is just an additional ancillary revenue stream that all their salespeople have to do is mention it on their way out the door. And out of the 5,000 customers that they already possess, 1,000 of them are going to buy it. And it's going to produce top-line additional revenue for this company. And guess what? You provide the service and you support them and you help them build and you make money as well in every single one of those customers. How many web development companies are out there? How many of these SEO uh, companies are out there that already sell to businesses? Or just build your own sales team. Find your own distribution. I really like this picture because everybody's pumped up about it. I tell you what, uh, I, I was listening to um, a speaker, the guy that started uh, Priceline.com at the CEO space that I was at last week, uh, Jeff Huffman. Is that right? I just, his name just slipped my mind. And I got to talk to him afterwards. But, dude, the guy was so exciting to listen to. And he's, he was talking about, I mean, he told so many stories that you guys as entrepreneurs or business owners would so appreciate. When you look at uh, how other people think, other people think not like us. Other people will sit there and look at you and go, why don't you just go get a regular job? Other people will uh, look at you and just and say, man, it just always seems like you're bouncing from you know, thing, one thing to another thing. And what Jeff said and he's a, is a, a billionaire. He started, you know, helped start Expedia, you know, started Priceline, sold for over $1,000 a share when they went public. You know, what Jeff said was, uh, those are the characteristics that make a great entrepreneur. Someone that, um, you know, is, get, can get excited about something new. Someone that can get excited and see the potential in a big opportunity. And then they can go out and spread that excitement to other people. And they're not satisfied just sitting there working for somebody else and just satisfied just, um, you know, having what we call a regular job, right? They're just bred a little bit different. I know because I've done it. I've put these distribution groups together. I've built the sales teams. I provide a model inside of our company that you can do that same thing. Is it a guarantee? Absolutely not. Because actually take to build a sales team or find a partnership or build distribution like any business it takes hard work and it takes going out there and actually talking to people and it takes learning about the technology but the cool thing is we provide so much for you to be able to uh, I'm not talking about the application I'm talking about so much in terms of resources and support and help and training programs to be able to get you educated enough to be able to go out and do this quickly we have a 22 video series um, what the only the industry's only mobile marketing certification program now you may be super intelligent and you may have sold all kinds of things in the past but if nothing else this is a great resource for you to go back to for those of you that have never been in this industry this 22 video series mobile marketing certification program is what we get you started with immediately now let me tell you guys real quick um, you can get started with with our company uh, obviously I've already told you we have the best wholesale pricing you could call one of our um, one of the one of the people on our um, uh, business development team, they can run through a pro, pro forma and show you how you can scale your organization, how our wholesale costs, when you've scaled up to 50 clients or 75 clients, you'll be paying us less money on a monthly basis than you will any other provider out there. 
Um, since we have multiple short codes, uh, multiple U.S. short codes on different aggregators in the U.S., there's a lot of security and stability, whereas most people will give you one, maybe two short codes on the same aggregator. What if that aggregator has problems? What if you lose one of your short codes? This happens all the time in this industry, and that can leave your business vulnerable or your credibility vulnerable. You might work six months or a year. I've worked a year on some big account. And then what if I have a technology problem? I just flip over to a different short code and I can keep them live and not lose my credibility and not lose, you know, an account that maybe is going to pay me $50,000 a month because those accounts are out there. Um, uh, I'm, I've, got a lot of, I've got a lot of energy today, so my brain is going really fast. I'm thinking about a lot of things at once. Talking about the application, I'm going to do a 30-second a, a run through of it. And I say 30 seconds about everything, but it's actually longer than that. Real quick, I'm going to show you. The application itself, you know, it's white labeled for you. It's your URL. You put your logo at the top. You manage all of your, you know, if you have an organizational view, you can manage your resellers up here. This is all of your clients. You can search for anybody. You can jump into your client's account and, t and take a look at it. If you want to go look at Blue Salt Grill's account, you click right there, and then you can see their opt-ins or manage their emails or whatever the case may be. Over here, you can edit their account, change their pricing. You can bill them from the platform, so it figures the bill for you, and you can charge their credit card right from the application. Um, with our integrated billing, you can put in your gateway and, and uh, you know, your credentials to your gateway, and then you can charge them right from the application. Um, the marketing platform has, you know, the sweetest um, mobile couponing tools where you can create your own Groupon. Um, you know, you've got all kinds of great tools, like our mobile website and app builder is, is the best in the industry. It actually creates native apps. It's a new feature that we just released. I'll talk about that more in a minute. Uh, kiosk creator allows you to build tablet landing pages in seconds. We have a great real estate module that's proprietary to us that is great for real estate agents. Our reseller content literally cannot be our It comes from all real-world training. When you go through our mobile marketing certification program, there's a company worksheets that you can click on, download, fill those out. Um, once you're done with the entire series, which there's it's a multiple stage, um, uh, multiple stages that you go through. Once you're done with all the mobile marketing certification courses, then you can go in and, you know, steps to the sale, 47 minutes, uh, questions you ask during every presentation. The, and this is all built from actually going out and selling in the real world. Not only is all that there, but there's also inside reseller content. There's, all, there's 50 plus PowerPoints, not, not generic ones. They are built for different industries. Um, there are inside sales training. There's actual live presentations you can watch for different kinds of industries. Lululemon, a national retailer, you can watch the presentation that we did for them. Network marketing companies, um, you know, sporting goods places, learning centers. Um, you, know, you can actually watch live presentations with some of these different people and how we actually follow the model that we teach. It's, it's like a franchise model, right? Um, you talk about, we've got a new uh, virtual business card builder that is sick. I'm gonna show you that in just a second that is uh, nearing enterprise release um, real shortly, email, and a bunch of other stuff. So um, I'm going to jump back in here for just a second, and then I'm going to cover uh, just a couple more things, and, and we're almost done. But i got a couple more exciting things to tell you about. So I told you pricing is better in the long term. The application has um, more training to be able to get you started quicker if you need that. Uh, <clears throat> a great support staff um, now. Beyond all that, I'm going to tell you about what we do when we board a new client. And when we take on a new partner, a new reseller partner like yourself, we immediately put them into day one boarding. And this is our, this is our notes on it. Um, we, uh, right up front, we set our goals of what videos that you're going to watch to get, to get going quickly. We give you a free mobile website, and it goes right into your account. We configure your virtual business card app that goes right on your phones uh, with all a bunch of demos. I'm going to show that to you in a second. You get that immediately. We give you a free website, a free desktop site that you pick your site. Uh, we you know, switch out the logo for you, drop it into your account, and then you can modify it from there. Um, we help you get your uh, billing system set up so that you can charge your clients. And then we go into future meetings with you to make sure that you're off and running correctly. So not only do we give you a free um, mobile website, a free desktop website, um, the white labeled application, but we give you, and you know, not only do we release all these new features for you, but we um, 
you know, give you all of that to get you to get you going so that you can go out and start selling and making partnerships tomorrow. And that's what this is about. I mean, you can literally enroll today, get boarded tomorrow, assuming we've got a slot open for you, and then go out and start making money, to, uh, you know, tomorrow or the following day. Um, you're, so here's a couple of the new features that we just released. I'm going to review those real fast, okay? Um, we just released the, an, an integration with PayPal Pro. We just released our new native app builder. Um, now you can create your own buttons uh, on your website or send digital agreements to people. So no longer do our partners have to like have somebody fill out a paper form and sign it for a contract or come up with their own way to, to get uh, contracts. Um, they can just sign people up right from their phone, right from a URL, right from a button on their website. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show that real quick. So first let's talk about the native app builder. Our mobile website app builder is, has been ranked in the top five of all app builders out there. There's dozens of different templates, thousands of different configurations. Um, you can do so many customizations of these things. Um, you can build, you can sell a mobile website app to a business owner for uh, 10 bucks a month if you want to. And, or you can include it with your SMS plan, an email plan uh, for free and then you close more sales. Or we have people that go out and sell these mobile website apps for a $250 setup fee. Some of them sell it for $600 setup fee. And then they build it out in less than an hour, and they deliver it to the customer. And the customer can uh, put some code in his, de in his desktop site so that any traffic that goes to his regular website automatically goes to the nice mobile version. And he can click and log in to your application from your website, and it's got your logo on it, and he sees this and he clicks his mobile website because it's the only one that he has access to. And he's looking at it and he can click on which page he wants to modify and he can type and modify in there real easily and, and, and format it and drop in pictures and drop in videos and whatever he wants on the page and then save it and then it's updated. We can also now publish these um, as native applications. And so you can actually go out and sell a native application if you want to to those people that want it. The thing about selling native applications, though, we have a lot of people come to us and say, man, I really want to sell native applications. And you can. You can do that with us. But you know where the real money is? The money is in the residual produced from uh, not the one-time sell of selling an app to somebody, but the residual produced in selling a company after company after company that stays with you for the next five years and that pay you every single month a growing amount of money because their databases are building, their SMS databases are building, their email databases are building, and growing that residual revenue every single month with every single client that you have. That's where the money is made. What is this for? To enhance text messaging campaigns. That's what this is for. That's why we built this. And why is it so awesome? Because it helps you close more business. When you can just give this right to somebody's phone right now, let them take a look at it, and then they can uh, uh, see it right on their phone, and then you can close them. You can throw it in for free to them. If they're going to be paying you a residual revenue every single month, they're going to pay you, and that amount they're paying you every month grows, spend an hour and build them a site and throw it in for free with the $29 a month plan just to get them started. We just released PayPal Pro and integration, which means um, you can sign up for PayPal Pro, and then you can charge your clients right from the application. Um, right from the application, meaning when you log in and you've got all of your clients created inside your application, your white labeled application, you can go right in here and you can look at their bill and you can charge them just by clicking the button, you know, right there. And when you click it, if they had a, their account's current, so I can't charge them. But if I had somebody that was overdue, that's a test account, there's no credit card on file. But if there was a credit card on file, I could charge them right there, right? Pretty cool stuff. Um, the other thing that we just released is the ability to enroll people to the application, charge them, and do it right from a website or a mobile website or whatever. So now you can create your own button on your website. And when they click Enroll Now from your website, they instantly go to a payment page that's hosted by us and secure. They put in their credit card information. We charge it, and the money goes right into your account. We don't take transaction fees or anything. It goes right into. It works with your merchant account. All you do: create your hosted sign-up page in the application, 
uh, copy the URL and let me show it to you real quick. It's pretty freaking cool. It's one of the coolest new features that we've released. So I would just go into uh, my accounts and settings. I'd go to my hosted signup pages. What I would do is hit create new signup. Now when I hit create new signup, then it's going to create a signup plan profile. Here's where I would name whatever it is I'm going to name it. So, you know, I, this is my uh, gold um, plan or whatever I would name it, right? It's my it's my plan that, you know, whatever. It's So it's a, for a client. I put in my terms of service URL, my cancellation policy, additional links. Um, I put my email address in here so when they actually sign it, I they uh, it sends me a copy of it so I know they signed it. Um, I create my own thank you. Uh, email that is sent to them upon success. Once they have, um, I think that's, that's the same one here. I wanted to go to one that I already filled out. Once I put their profile, then I go in and I put what all their settings are for the plan. So I decide which short code do I want to give them? What what pieces of the application do I want to give them access to? Do I want to allow them blasting and keyword campaigns and voting and polling and autoresponders, but I don't want to allow them text to screen or survey or trivia, so I leave those off. I put in their quota. I decide, do I want them to have the cloud or creator or no? Do I want them to have real estate? Yes or no? And then I save that. Once I've done that, then I go into their pricing and I put the pricing to exactly what I want it. $99 setup fee, $89 a month. I put in my limits and their amount of overages in all of the different spots. So, I, and it, the, so the system knows to charge them 1.9 cents for every message that they send over the 2,000 that I included in their plan. Now, once I've saved this plan, it creates a URL. All I do is go to my URL, and then I can email that URL to them and say, hey, just click here to sign up. Or I can link a button to this URL. And when the, somebody clicks the button on my website, it takes them to a page that has my logo on it, your logo, your logo, and has the name of whatever you named that plan, and then has the summary of the pricing, and they just put in their information and uh, uh, check the terms and conditions, and then hit sign up. And when they sign up, it charges their card, and they get an instant email, and the account is created in your system. And now you log in, and boom, there's their account already created. They got an email with their username and password, mm -hmm. and they're ready. And they're ready to go. It's uh, it's a system that automatically generates their account. It's a system that charges their account for you. And you can do it from any website or any mobile website. Here's what you get when you sign up with us. Part of that boarding, that very first call, is we give you a virtual business card app that goes right on your phone. How does it work? You're standing there talking to somebody, a local business owner, when you're at a you know business meeting or whatever. And you say, hey, you know, let me give you my information. And you hit the app on your phone. It launches your virtual business card page. You type in his mobile phone number in the form right there. Or he types in his, his phone number in your virtual business card app on your phone. What happens is he gets an instant text message on his phone with your name, your company name, your phone number, your email address. And then a link when he clicks that. Then you tell him, go ahead and click that link right there. And he clicks the link and it takes him to the mobile website that, that we give you. We give you this mobile website. And you can change out the logos and you can change the copy and you can change the pages, but we've already got these pre-built for you. So tomorrow you can go out with credibility like this where you can immediately show somebody your virtual business card app. They can type their mobile number in. You send this to their phone. They're clicking on it. You're saying click on that, click on that. And it's got your, all your contact information on it. But what's even cooler is as you're standing there talking to them, and you're, you know, you say you're ready to sign them up. You can have them click the mobile coupons, and then at the bottom of it, you, you click the Buy Now button. And when they click the Buy Now button, it takes them right to that sign-up page, where they put in their information and their credit card information, and right from their phone, accept the terms and conditions and hit Sign Up. Right there when you're standing in front of them, or your sales team is standing in front of them, or one of your distributors that you've got that has 55 salespeople in 55 markets. When they're standing there talking to somebody, they can send them a business card. And then they can say, go ahead and click that link. Now watch that video. Now you can sign up right now for $19.99 a month. Just click the Buy Now button. And they click the Buy Now button on their phone, and you charge them. And their account is automatically created. 
and all right from the phone. There's demo apps, which we give you, which are just sick. I mean, this will sell accounts just all on its own. But again, you're standing there talking to the guy and you're like, you know, he's like, oh yeah, that's, you know, that's pretty interesting. I'm excited about it. Well, hey, let me send you an example of, of a mobile coupon. You know, they work like Groupons. And you hit the little demo app button at the bottom of your business card. What it does is it launches this page. It's got every different kind of industry on it. Amusement parks, boutiques, casual dining, coffee shops, nonprofits, fine dining, express oil changes, hair salons, HVC repairmen, uh, churches, all kinds of stuff on it. You pick which industry the person you're talking to is. He's a grocer. I click the grocer button. It launches the grocer page. You type his mobile number in. Instantly, he gets two text messages. These are not, this is not your virtual business card. This is examples of how it would, would work for his business. The first one will be a one-time redemption mobile coupon that works like a Groupon. You tell him, hey, John, go ahead and click that first link. Yeah, that's a mobile coupon. You can send these out to your customers without paying Groupon fees, and it'll generate additional transactions. People walk in the door. They click redeem. John, go ahead and click redeem. And he hits redeem. And you say, see, they redeem it. And then it shows the coupon after that. They can also share that coupon on social media. So then you tell the business owner, hey, John, you know, we do these incentivized social sharing programs with a lot of businesses. And what they do is they take their current customers that are already buying from them and they incentivize them to share coupons on social media. Then all their friends see your coupons. And now this is a way to pull in 25 new customers a month to your business. What would 25 new customers a month that start buying from you regularly do for your business? That's a customer growth strategy. What's the lifetime value of each of those customers? You see, when you talk, start talking about, to a business owner about investing in growth, that's the way to close business. When you start talking to him about if I can, the, you know what the single best investment you can make of anything else that you can ever do is investing in your own business. If I can lay $100 down, I can put it in anything. I can put it in a CD. I can go put it in a bank account. I can go, you know, put it in some kind of investment, $1,000, $5,000. But the single best investment I can ever make is on new customer acquisition. If I can lay $1,000 down and it's going to bring me $5,000 of new business over the next two months, that is multiplying my money. That's printing money. And that's exactly what you can do with mobile because you can invest in mobile, very small investment, and the following month get a return on that investment with new customer acquisition or with additional transactions from your current customers. And that's the type of business, that's speaking business to a business owner. And if you talk like that to business owners, they will buy from you. This is why our resellers make more money than, anybody, than, go, than, than any other provider out there. Our resellers simply make more money than resellers of other people because we teach them how to talk to business owners to get them to buy. Now, the second, then you tell them, John, hey, John, John, business owner, click that second link there. Then he clicks on a link that takes him to a, a really awesome multi-site app. And you say, John, I'll throw in a, an app for you, just like this one, except it's going to have your stuff all over it. It's going to have your logo, your videos. It'll have your menu on it. You know, that people just click the menu. Plus, you know, they can save it as an app icon on their home screen just like that. And, you know, then you got your own app. Hey, there's my virtual business card app right there. I got a Justin Bieber icon. What do you think of that? Then they're sitting there looking at the app. You can throw it in. You can charge them an extra 250 bucks, whatever you want, right? Obviously, we know, and people talk about it all the time, oh, man, this has to be like fishing with, like fishing with dynamite, right? You go out there and you tell them, how many people have redeemed a mobile coupon? You go out there and tell them how you can grow your business using mobile and, and doing social sharing. And, you know, everybody's got to buy from you when you tell them this stuff. But what actually closes the account, what actually closes new business is consulting on them, consulting with them on their actual business model, talking to the business owner about investment, talking to them about how to grow the revenues how to how they're going to get an ROI, why the biggest businesses in North America are investing in this technology over other technology because they're seeing a better ROI from their mobile campaigns than they are from any other type of investment that they're making. You talk to them, they're not just investing money. They're not just investing time. They're investing their credibility. They've got to get staff execution, so their staff has to be involved with this. There's a lot that goes into investment that a business owner is actually making. 
Just telling them some stats is not going to close them alone. You've got to know all of this other stuff and be able to help them with it, and then you can get them to get then you can get them to buy from you. They will invest in business growth, more customers, more transactions, philanthropic gains, um, all of that. I'm going to cover about two more minutes of stuff, and then I'm going to take questions. So if you guys want to hang out, we've got three different tiers of investment that you can make if you want to license our technology. Um, like I said, we'll immediately put you into boarding, uh, a boarding call. We'll immediately get you your virtual business card app, your mobile website, your regular website. Um, we've got a few different tiers of investment. Only tier two and three come with the website or the mobile website um, and the training and the mobile marketing certification training. Tier one is for people that just want to use our SMS application, which is, is available. Here's the step. Step one, get enrolled in the, the tier two or tier three program. Step two, we start you on that mobile marketing certification course if you want to do that, but we also get you into that uh, boarding process that gets you all that stuff. Day three, you can go out and start opening up opportunities and closing sales. And by the end of uh, the first month, before you have a, uh, any other payment due, this is probably the only business that you can invest less than $500 in and go out and close two clients by the end of the week and already have made your investment back. That's how easy this is. You can go to our website right now, avidmobile.com, sign up for a free trial account, and you can log in and, and send yourself a text message if you want to. If you want to see a live demo of the actual virtual business card app and see what that looks like, um, you can call the sales phone number from the website and they can help you there. Um, if you have any other questions, you can email info at avidmobile or support at Evan Mobile, and they can answer any questions for you. Um, we look forward to talking to you guys soon. And like I said, we'll match or be any other price out there. No, no doubt about it. And, and the, real, the real thing is we're the best partner. You're going to make the most money with us than you would with anybody else. Appreciate your time today. I hope you guys learned something because I try to teach as I'm talking. So I hope you learned something. Don't leave without telling me bye on your way out. I'm going to answer some questions here so 